Good morning ladies. I am taking a walk with Sunny because she woke up super early this morning and I'm listening to the book The Happiness Advantage and I um, referenced this to you guys before but I highly highly recommend that you read or listen to this book. I listen on Audible and if you don't already have an Audible membership I can send you the book for free so just comment below and I can um, do that send you the link. But I want to share something that he's talking about in this book. This guy is a happiness researcher. And as you probably all know, um, being healthy is a big part of being happy. So he's done a lot of research that involves, you know, making healthy habit changes too. So um, one of the things he was talking about is how our brains are hardwired to take the path of least resistance. And so if we are attempting to make a lifestyle change or a change in our eating habits or exercise habits, and we're going to rely on willpower to do it, we are almost entirely likely to be unsuccessful because our willpower, rather than getting stronger as we work and use it, it actually gets weaker. So even in unrelated um, areas, it's almost as though you have a willpower tank and um, once it's depleted, it's just done, which is one of the reasons why dinner and done or late night snacking um, is so, easy to succumb to or it's dinner done can be difficult and late night snacking can be so easy to succumb to because you've used your willpower all day long for so many different things not just for your eating habits and your choices but your life choices all along the way and your focus and your concentration you know when you're at work all day long you're using your willpower to stay focused and to get tasks done because those things are not usually the path of least resistance the path of least resistance is sitting on the couch and eating potato chips in essence however in his studies he's also talked about how the interesting thing is that we are programmed to follow the path of least resistance, except that the path of least resistance doesn't provide us more happiness. Like they've done studies on what kinds of things provide the greatest amount of happiness. Um, and the interesting thing is that they've shown that people will, you know, basically be 40 times more likely to spend, um, you know, 75% more of their time on or doing things or not doing things that um, basically don't make them any happier. So you spend more of your time doing the path of least resistance kind of things like watching TV, sitting on the couch, rather than the things that are going to make you so much happier. Um, like getting out, taking a walk, spending time with friends, riding a bike, like active leisure um, instead of just leisure. So we are going to be happier from the things that we tend to do less. Just, And it's weird that we tend to do them less, but it's just because that's the way our bodies and our brains are hardwired. And so anyway, he was just talking about with willpower, if you tell yourself, okay, I'm not going to eat the cookies and you just keep telling yourself, keep telling yourself, you're wearing yourself out to the point that eventually you're going to break and you're going to eat the cookies and probably eat way more of them than you intended. And so how do we overcome this? How do we um, create success? How do we create change? How do we avoid the cookies? Well, basically with all the studies that they've done, they've shown, and this is pretty simple, and it really goes along with everything Alana talks about in her videos and the way that the Chubby Mindset is set up, but the way that you do it is you make, um, you make the changes, you make the healthy options, or you, you put the healthy options on the path of least resistance, and you create um, challenges or roadblocks to the unhealthy options. So, for example, just like Alana talks about in the Tubi Mindset Kitchen video, um, put the snackable veggies right in the front of your refrigerator. Put the junk food either in the trash, get rid of it, because out of sight, out of mind, right? Or um, put it on the top shelf that you're required to get out a ladder or a step stool or a chair to get on the chair to get up and get the junk food. So. They, I mean, seriously, so much research shows that if you just make 
the healthy choice a little bit easier. If you make it the easiest option, then that's the choice you'll make. Not because your willpower got stronger, but because you put it, you made it easier for yourself. You removed the roadblocks. And so you've put the healthy lifestyle and the healthy choice on the path of least resistance. So thinking about this as you move into your week, today is Sunday, it's a great day to start um, kind of planning your week ahead. In your tracker, I know I'm guilty of this, but in your tracker, one of the um, pages is a page where you plan out your grocery shopping, you plan out your meals for the week, your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and how many of you have filled that out diligently every single week? I would say for me, that's the part that I have done the least amount of work on and I need to do better. So let's get the tracker out today and let's make a plan because here's another thing about putting the healthy option on the path of least resistance. When he said that when you have a lot of choices to make um, and having too many decisions, too many options, that actually makes it more difficult for us to make the to make the healthy choice. When you have to think about it and to spend more time thinking about it, then you're less likely to make the right choice because the thinking and the processing and the decision decision making time makes uh weakens our willpower as well. So rather than leaving the week to chance, make a plan for what you're gonna eat for dinner. You don't have to prep all of your food while that would be definitely putting things on the path of least resistance for the week, but you can just write down what you're gonna have. So say you open up your tracker, you put Monday night, uh, chicken breast and zoodles with marinara. Tuesday night, a big salad with grilled shrimp. Um, Wednesday night, rotisserie chicken and broccoli and some avocado slices, you know, you, so you get the point, right? Write down what you're gonna have so you remove the decision-making from, um, from your day. Because he, in these studies on willpower, they actually, what they did was they had participants um, avoid eating for three hours prior to coming in to do this test. So they weren't allowed to eat for three hours. So they used their willpower for three hours. And there were three groups. One group was then when they came in, they set down a plate of cookies in front of them and they told them, you're not allowed to eat the cookies. And then they gave them a very simple test, um, just like having to do with like geometric shapes and naming the shapes, like simple stuff. And then um, the second group, gave them the same test, but this group with the plate of cookies, they had, oh, they had a plate of cookies and they told them, you can eat them if you want to, um, it's up to you. And then they gave them the same test. And then the third group, there was no cookies, they just gave them the test. So the group that was given the cookies and told they couldn't eat them, performed worse on the very simple task, the very simple test, than either of the other groups. And the other group that was given the cookies and told they could eat them if they wanted to, majority of the participants didn't even eat the cookies, but they still performed better than the group that was told they couldn't eat the cookies and had to take the test. And he was saying that as they went through some of these studies and they went a little further into it, that basically our willpower, it's not categorical. Like, you know, it's not like, oh, you used up your willpower and your choice as far what's, as what snack to have. Um, and now, you know, he basically just said, when you are using a lot of willpower, it zaps your mental energy, it zaps your, your stamina in all other areas. And so it's just that your willpower, your stamina, um, it can be used up it, it, with everything in life. So it's not just like, oh, I've been using willpower to make sure I eat healthy snacks all day. Like I said, you're using your um, energy, your willpower at work. You're using it with your kids. You're using it to not, you know, yell at the guy who cut you off in traffic or whatever. All day long, you're using your willpower. And so all of the things that you have to do throughout the day just make you tired, right? And so then when you get home, that's why it's so, 
easy to reach for cookies and it can feel so challenging to avoid them if they're your favorite or chips or whatever it is. So two action points for this week. Number one, put the healthy choices on the path of least resistance. So yeah, run over here. Put the healthy choices on the path of least resistance. Buy lots of healthy snacks, snackable veggies, um, fruit, and get your food prepped make um, you know some proteins that are ready and available for you because the fastest or the easiest things to eat are the junk food things that's I mean and marketing has made a has marketing has done a good job of turning all of the junk food into very easy accessible things that's why people reach for it not because it's what they want but because it's easy. So make the healthy choice easier for yourself by having it there. Don't start your week with an empty pantry and an empty refrigerator where all you have is chips and snacks and don't buy bowls and fill them with candy corn at this time of year. Don't buy Hershey's uh, kisses and have them sitting around your house when the guests come. Let me tell you something. You don't want to give that to your guests because you're feeding their unhealthy habits and you're putting on the path of least resistance the temptation for someone that's not going to help them. And it might seem like it's a kind and hospitable thing to do, but it's not. Don't do it because ultimately at the end of the day, you know who's going to eat the most of them? You are. So get that stuff out of your house, out of sight, out of mind. Weight loss is fun losing weight, feeling good, being healthy, being active and and feeling no pain in your body because you've got that weight off your joints, that is what you want. Not bowls of candy and pumpkin spice lattes and all of those things that in the end make you feel worse, right? So let's set ourselves up for success. So number two this week, make a plan. So not only are we going to put the healthy choices in the path of least resistance, we're going to make them the e most easily accessible. We're also going to take the decision making out of it and you write down what you're going to do, um, whether it's um, writing down, if, you, if you're someone's working out, write down your workouts, have a plan so that, you know, Tuesday night you get out of work, there's no well, should I go to the gym or should I take a walk or should I hike or should I go to that yoga class? Like when you have all those options, you know what's more likely to happen? You're more likely not to do it. It's one of the reasons why I really do love the Beachbody On Demand um, because there's a lot of fitness programs and it's not just like, oh, like pick out a workout. There's a program and then for every single program, there is a fitness calendar that tells me, Monday, this is the workout I'm going to do. Tuesday, this is the workout I'm going to do. Every single day, it tells you exactly what you need to do. So it's easy, I just get up when it's, I get Sunny down for her nap, I open up my computer, I look at my calendar, boom, that's what I'm doing that day. And it just takes out the guesswork. Cause I used to um, sometimes work out at home and I was always so unsuccessful cause I would stare at DVDs and think, which one should I do? Well now I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I have a plan and I just follow the plan. I don't have to think about it. And same thing, we can do the same thing with our food. Have a plan, No, And that's one thing about having a consistent breakfast. If you just have the same breakfast every single day, you have a plan, it's so much easier than being like, well, should I stop and pick up donuts on the way to work? Should I just eat this cereal that my kids are having because it's easier and I don't wanna fix anything? Don't give yourself options. Don't leave things up to question. Make a plan, follow the plan be successful and create not just health, but happiness in your life. Because studies show the healthy we are, the healthier we are, the happier we are too. So I love you guys. I love being on this journey with all of you. I love hearing your successes, your struggles, all of it. And so let's continue to share. Let's continue to reach out, hold each other accountable, create positive energy in the group because positive people makes more positive weight loss, okay? Talk to you guys later. Have a happy Sunday.